Amber. Oh my God, look at you. April. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> April. 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 You're now April, right? I'm April. Hi. Oh. So tell me what's been going on. You went through hell lately. Okay, about a little less than a month ago, um, I was somewhere, not really sure where exactly, but I had a seizure. And when I got to the hospital, I had a stroke. And now I am just right now getting out of the rehab rehabilitation hospital. This was after you had COVID as well. Yeah, I had COVID. We, yeah, I talked talk about that before. Um, so I'm just getting out of the rehabilitation hospital. But when I had my seizure, I fell pretty hard on my, and I did some damage to my spinal cord. And now they want to ha- operate on my spinal cord. Yikes. So I'm a like a little shaky, like my right side is not the best. And you might see my leg shake through the interview. Yeah. I'm not having a seizure. It's just your legs are weak. Some of the issues from my damage to my spinal cord. Oh, really? Um, and you're walking with a cane now. I walk with a cane. I have a, uh, what do you call it? A brace for my right hand so it doesn't get curled. It's just kind of keep it as regular as possible. <laughs> I'm left-handed now, <laughs> but my parents were left-handed and they used to tell me, don't worry, left-handed people are always right. So. Uh-huh. Well, this this all just happened recently. Recently, yeah. So you may. I've been in the hospital for three weeks. You may regain some of your. Hopefully. The right side. It's a, the hope that the prognosis is that they operate on my neck, and it'll um, improve some of the nerve damage or some of the damage that was done. Actually, I'm still working with the neurosurgeon and the orthopedic people to know exactly what's wrong. I I just left today. And I, I go back in a couple of weeks to talk to them. But my understanding from my doctor is that a lot of my damage won't can't won't be I won't be back to riot 100 percent or as close to that until they do some work on my spinal cord that I damaged when I fell. So this is the bottom. There's no there's nothing left but death. No way to support yourself. No way to work the streets. No, oh, way, to, no way to buy crack. Yeah, there's that's over. I was told I can't have one, which is a blessing. Because can't have one what? When anything that's um, <laughs> narcotic wise, like no narcotics, no. Right. You can't. Don't. I can't take the chance to have one. Did did, did hit, crack? Did crack use sip. bring on the seizures? I would say yes. My drug abuse did because I kind of was a cocktail drug user. I did what my scene was, and. Um, I had went to rehab earlier uh, this year, and I didn't last long because I look at it now that I wasn't serious about it. I, I wanted to be, I thought I was, but when I got there, the first time they made me mad, I left. So then I came home or I came back to the streets and I realized like, whoa, this isn't what I want either. <laughs> so in the process of me waiting to get a bed and get back, that's when all this happened. Like, for instance, honestly, I was going on, my, on a Monday and my seizures and stroke happened on Sunday. When 24 hours before I was checking in. Oh, wow. And what I did that weekend was like a party. I did everything. So it's no telling exactly what thing did it or if it was everything or it was just God saying, OK, hardhead, you're not you're not listening. Well, let me show you something. Let me show you another way. This is your last. I take it as this is my last opportunity to get it right because after this incident happened when the doctor said you can't neurologically you can't have anything i wouldn't even suggest you smoke a cigarette i've never been told that i heard that before i've heard other people say that before i heard in in the meetings one of the sayings was don't even no matter what don't but now i have a medical professional tell me no matter what, don't, you can't, don't take the chance. Yeah. So I'm running to rehab. 
You're going to rehab tomorrow. Indeed. Fortunately, the rehab that I was going to, um, with the hospital's help and the social worker's help, they got in contact with them and they let them know, like, she didn't flake, she's in hospital. They are giving me 24 hours from the time I get out of the hospital to show up. And I'm going. I don't know what else to do to live. You don't really have any other choice now. I don't know what else to do to live because I want to live. I know what I have to, I know how to kill myself. Simple, just take one. But I don't want to do that. I want to live. I got four, five reasons to live. Four children and myself. I got to meet my kids. I got to see my kids. That's like my biggest goal and ambition right now is to be there for them. And I can't do it no other way but to go into this rehab and learn how to live sober. Learn how to learn how to live again, because I forgot. I've been doing this a long time, and I forgot how to live. I'm gonna ask you for some water, because I'm a little... Oh, sure, let me... Let me. Please, if you don't mind. Let me just get it. Thanks. Uh... All right. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Don't get nervous, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, so I need a little help with this. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have to learn how to ask for help. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. So, now I'm looking forward to living. And I just want to tell everyone that watches the channel, just don't give up on me. I'm going to get it together. Um, I'm going to be that person that you guys met a, a year ago, plus extras. I'll be clean and sober. Maybe I'll have a, my child with me or my children, a child at four. Maybe one of my kids will see me. I'll meet in this time that I'll see you guys later. But just don't give up on me and, and just know that I'm getting it together. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be okay. I'm go I want to live. So You were actually going to rehab before all this happened. Yeah, I was going to rehab before this and happened. And then, then all hell broke loose. I was going on Monday. This happened Sunday. You were having a little party, going away party. Oh, yeah. It was like a, yeah, I think so. Or, or I wasn't serious then either. Because I think I've been rehab before where I was clean for 72 days before I got there. So I would say that I wasn't serious then either. Because if I was serious, I wouldn't have even been partying. I would have been focusing on getting to that destination instead of like the last hoorah, you know? Because the last hoorah almost cost me every, the last hoorah, everything. So. You, you've had seizures before? Yeah, I had seizures, but I think that they were, I never went to the hospital. They were always during my dr drug use. Mm -hmm. However, I'm going to um, talk to my neurologist because there's a couple other little things that maybe I ha have epilepsy and I just never really knew it because I had a, a seizure when I was 19 when I was on drugs. Mm. I just didn't go to the doctor. Just being hard. When you're younger, teenager, you think you know everything. So it was just like, ah, that's okay. I didn't, I, I'm all right. I'll go to the doctor. Just never did. So I have one seizure sober. So... Maybe there was something back then that was wrong with me. Yep. You know, I'm a migraine sufferer. Not to say that that has anything to do with it, but I, just, I suffer from migraines and other little things, just other little family history things that when I was 19, I wasn't caring about being young and, and uh, wilding out, I guess you'd call it. But so when I talk to my neurologist, I'm going to get real personal, real honest with them and see because I heard that the more honest you are with your doctor, the better it is. Like, yeah, you know so, what I mean? Do you use drugs? Nah. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be real honest and write down some things while I can remember from back then. See if any of this has anything to do with it. My, my future. But my injury, the right side is like the stroke. I'm a, my stroke was on a side that affected my left. The right, they're saying that is from my neck. 
but more than likely it's from my the, whatever I did. They have a term for it, but mm -hmm. I didn't hear it. I was crying because I kept hearing spinal cord damage and operation. And I keep thinking about Superman, Christopher Reed, you know, like the, that's like the worst case scenario, you know what I mean? To be paralyzed from really bad, I just fearful. But at least I'll be alive, right? I'll be breathing. Um, Maybe it's a little I'll be an example you for youth and people my age and people younger than me. And I'm what you don't do. <laughs> I'm everything you don't do. Because if you do, you might be like me. And I don't want that. I want the best for everybody, including myself, you know? I would love to see what you look like when you get your stuff together, you get your uh, tooth fixed, get your... I can't wait to, I just, I just want to make it. I just want to make it to tomorrow. I'm that, I'm that scared. It's no more next week, <laughs> next year, or like that. I really, really, really just want to make sure that when I go to sleep, I wake up to have another chance to get life right. Mm. I just want another, I just want chances to get life right, God. <laughs> just, just, just give me an opportunity. Like I want to, I want to go to schools and speak. I want to go to homes where kids are and speak. I just want to speak. I just want to let everyone know like, this is what can happen. Like I said way before, if you go left, this is what might happen. Just keep, it keeps going on the right track. And just remember that you might have it bad, but I promise you it's not that bad. And I promise you that there's someone that has it just a little bit worse than you. And I had to learn that the hard way. I had to learn that at a real late in age. But now I'm ready to live. That's how I just want to live. I'm with God's help and, and rehab and the surgery. Hopefully, I hope I'm, I'm really don't want to, but I, I want to live. So if it means I'm going to ask all those questions, if I, what, when, what happens if I don't, but if they say something like it'll get worse, then go ahead, do it, do it, do it. My youngest is a uh, six. I got at least 12 more years before he can say, you know, he wants to find me and I got to make sure that I'm here. Even if it means being in a wheelchair, I don't mind. I just want to be able to go. Breathe. I want to live. I, I want to live. This is like, I've thought, I thought I wanted to live before, but having the seizure and the stroke and waking up two days later and not knowing that I lost two days is amazing. I, I want to live. I, I want to live. And it's, I've thought I wanted to live, but no, I want to live. Okay. You'll get better. I'll get better. I You'll promise. Better. I promise. I'm okay. Sure, I'm, I'm sure you will. I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. All right, April. Thank you so much for letting me come up and talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck in rehab. Thank you. See you soon.